this is the uh, Thursday, 17th, 17th uh, of January, 2019, Planning Board meeting. Uh, so let's start off with a consideration of the minutes. Did anybody see any changes that needed to be made? No, look for me. Will we approve them? We get a motion. A second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, so most of you guys have been here before. I think you've certainly been here before, Steve, honorary member and all. So basically we uh, are going to go through the agenda. Um, tonight is a pretty straightforward one. Uh, just really some zoning amendments we're going to go through. And Benton uh, has a non-binding preliminary discussion which for anyone who's not run into that before, is basically you can come before the board, you can ask some questions. Um, it allows applicants to know which direction to go on different things and things like that. Um, before we get started, is there anybody who has any questions for the board before we get started about general planning board items um, non-pertaining to nobody? OK. Anybody here? No. All right. Um, all right, so first up, uh, we have the 2019 Zoning Amendments uh, Public Hearing. Um, which, if anybody has forgotten, is the residential tenting and recreational vehicles. Um, and then also under amended, amending section 17.8.5 as follows. And Almost that was it for that. So do I understand correctly we need to open a public session about that? Just open a public hearing for comment and you need to review the, what the changes are. Okay. So, and do I need a motion? No. No. All right, so we're going to open the public session uh, for this. And we're going to review what the changes are. Uh, so the residential tenting and recreational vehicle uh, section of our zoning has been gone through quite a few times. Um, so currently, uh, under 10.4 of the residential tenting and recreational vehicles, it says in order to protect the health, safety, and general welfare of the community, occupancy of residential tents and recreational vehicles will be allowed provided that the following requirements are met. Code enforcement officer is designated as the authority for enforcement of this ordinance. 10.4.1 limitation such occupancy of either tents or recreational vehicles on any lot requires one of the following conditions to be met. And here are the changes A. Limit to one recreational vehicle and two tents at a time. Additional tents or RVs may be available by permit, meaning that if you were to exceed that number, you can go see the codes officer and you may do uh, additional things. The use is permitted April 15th through October 30th. Uh, this is a safety item and you know, safety concern with cold weather. So. Uh, the rest of the ordinance is unchanged, which is C, the lot has toilet facilities connected to an on-site operational subsurface septic waste system. Uh, or D, temporarily maintained toilet facil facilities are provided on the lot at all times there is occupancy in either tent or recreational vehicle. Or E, in case of an RV with septic holding tank, proof of proper disposal of septic waste at a state licensed facility must be available on mountain site at all times and presented to the codes enforcement officer upon request. So, why don't we talk about 10.4 residential tenting and recreational facility changes, see if anyone in the audience has any concerns or comments or such and so forth. I got a comment. Sure. Is, uh, who's going to enforce it? That would be the codes officer. But he's not here on the weekend. Okay. So now what do we do? You got to slap me on my wrist and I'll do it again. Slap me on my wrist. I mean, how many times are we going to do this? There's no enforcement in town. True. Just I mean, to cover this ordinance. let me just say that this is the planning board. We don't handle enforcement. We handle writing the zoning, and that's what we're doing. Right, but I'm making my comment because the code that would is be, sitting there. That would be a better uh, something directed to the selectmen, since no. they handle the overtime 
um, handle, you know, police, handle whatnot. We okay. just talk about zoning. I'm glad one of us slept in here so we can... Uh, He's here? You can feel free to ask him? Well, no, I'll present it to the board. He can't make a single decision. I mean, I, I expressed my comments and uh, he heard me. It's on tape and then we can discuss it whenever we meet again. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay. Again, the way this is written right now. So what's the intent of this? You can only use it from April 15th to October 30th? Uh, for, you know, if you were going to spend the night on the property, yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, you didn't change the first line. Such occupancy of either tents or recreational vehicles on any lot requires one of the following conditions to be met. Can't have that. All you got to do is meet one. You can live there. Give me all of the conditions. It's written wrong. Try again. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. You're absolutely right. Yeah. <laughs> it's no the same thing as last year. Yeah. <laughs> same problem as last year. Yeah. You got to change one to all. Well, you got to make it read right. So. Are we able to do that now that that has been posted? We can we can we can change it and have another hearing, and right. we, and we're early enough so we can have another hearing Does before it, it has to go to. Will the it need to be reposted? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, Jake, let me read what it says and what tell you what it says. Yeah, no, closer. We, we can continue it. We don't have to repost yeah. it. Yeah. Continue yeah. it to a date certain. It does not have to be reposted. Okay. So what you got it? Well, the problem is it's. There shouldn't be four things in there. It should be the first. Can I see that? Yeah, well, you've got to be careful. Yeah. A and B don't have anything to do with C right. and A. A and B have to be A and B have to be separate. Right, have to be separate. And then C, D, and E are separate. Yeah, 10.4.1 ought to be A and B, and then 10.4.2, and I'm not sure what the numbering is. So should A and B should be by itself, and it said one of the following after B. Yeah, so you got to have. Well, you got to have septic. Let's square it away right now so that we can. Well, you got the whole ordinance. What's ten point four point two? Good catch. A and B should be four. Should be before ten point four point one. Because here, I want to. I'm going to bring up my. Oh. But what, it's it's got to read something along says, the lines of this. one of the following is one of these. Is, not these is C, D, and E. A and B have A and B go no matter what. Ten, uh, to, to C, D, and E are one of the are one of the following. So where do you add this? Do you add it? This A and B should be before ten point four point one. But, but what you wanted to read is something is such occupancy of either tents or recreational vehicles so, on any lot. Is limited to one recreation. Is limited. So you, you take out the following conditions to be met. Yeah. Is limited. Limited to one, one recreation. Is limited to a one recreational and b permitted use. Use is permitted from April fifteenth to October thirty. I wouldn't even put it as a and b. I would just say such occupancy of the tents or recreational vehicle on any lot is limited to one recreational vehicle and two tents at a time. Mm -hmm. you know, additional tents for RVs may be available, and the use is permitted off the April 15th to October 30th. Right, and then, and then say in one addition, one of the following addition, conditions. One of the following yeah. conditions must be met. Yeah. yeah, if you look at back at what's in here, that just goes, the, the new wording just goes <coughs> as a modifier up to the 10.4 paragraph. Yeah. And then 10.4.1 stays the same as it was. Yeah, I just moved the A and the B before the 10.4.1, so. But, but I mean that, the reason for the 10.4.1 is it is a limitation. A and B right. are a limitation. Right. I would right. just there. put, like we talked about, I would put yeah. it in. Make it one line in the beginning yeah. on the limitations and then say, in addition, one of the one following must be met. That reads right. Mm -hmm. you got, so what you got? January, what do you have to have it by March? You got time for it. Okay, we're going to have to confer some meeting in the next month. Yeah. All right, so let me just read this through and then let's not sure what it's required. We'll, we'll have one anyway. Uh, limitation such, such occupancy of either tents or recreational vehicles on any lot uh, is, is any lot is limited to one recreational vehicle and two tents at a time. Additional tents or RVs may be available by permit. Um, period or and, yeah. 
and you, or, we'll say in addition. In addition, the one of the following must be met. No, we we still okay. have to be dates. Yeah, I would put a period. Mm -hmm. The use is permitted at April 15th through October 30th. Yeah. In addition, the following conditions must be met. One of the following. In addition, one, one of the following right, conditions yeah. must be met. Yeah, that's reasonable. Okay. I need a motion to change the proposed zoning to the wording as, as read. As so moved. Can I get a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So I have a question. I should sure. When can I ask when the last time we had an issue that this ordinance would correct? That'd be a question for Jack. 2017, I think is when you said yeah. right. Yeah. Which is what generated this change to begin with. And so in twenty eighteen you didn't have an issue like this? No. So that goes back to my theory that we're all regulating. If we don't have issues. Thank you. I think it it, it was something happened in 2017 that created a problem. So this was proposed and changed. And ever since then, we've been trying to get the word in right. So it was, for lack of a better word, right. Yep. So I mean, this allows somebody to use their property, which I think originally you weren't even very limited. Four you, weeks. Yeah, it was, that was part of the other problem. <clears throat> with it. I don't think you were here at the time. But basically, you could own a lot of land, a piece of land. And you could only camp on it for four weeks, and it was hard to administer because I think you, it was like you said, "Well, what four four weeks? I want to go this weekend. I'm going to be there yeah. Thursday and Friday." And I know, so so it was, we were trying to fix that, and I think everybody on board felt that if you had a piece of land, you should put, go the, out septic, and camp put the septic part of that in there too. So yeah, we added the septic part a couple of years ago. Yeah. My only question to that is, where do you draw the line between an RV and a mobile home? Well, it doesn't really matter. Well, it's self-contained in the sands right there. Hmm? Manufactured house, that's different. Well, I'll go back to up by Aunt Mary's corner. Somebody was living in a recreational vehicle attached to a septic for a long time. I'm not going to name names. Okay. But... I mean, if it's if you have a rec, that's my point. What when does a recreational vehicle become a mobile? But become manufactured house houses? It can't. It never will. So you don't know of any instances where somebody just took a trail and put it up on. I know of an instance of one. Yes, I do. But that's my point. You're going to make right. them homeless as soon as you pass this, right? But it's not allowed. But but yeah, but that's my point. That was not why tidy. is it allowed? That's that's what I'm getting. I'm back to his argument. Because why we, are you going to limit somebody if it's pro if it's properly connected to septic? Correct. Why does it matter that it's a recreational vehicle on four blocks and it stays there all winter? It's that's the only that's doesn't allow it. I mean, it's well, but when we you have manufactured districts, we have regular districts. Oh, you're districts going by district. That. Okay. All right. So you go back to the district argument. Okay. okay. For something that's permanent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to get there. I mean, I'm just playing devil's advocate, like he was doing. But I was just trying to think through what the. Uh, it, it would, I guess it would be on a district basis. Yeah. All right. Mobile homes allowed in four places. Referring you that way, isn't it? What's that? As reasonable? Is it devil's, devil's advocate? advocate. <laughs> no, no, I was talking about me. <laughs> Mobile homes are meant for two trips: one to the place they're going, and one to the scrap yard. Yes. The RVs are meant to be moved from one place to another on a regular basis. No, I just, but you see where I was going. I'm just trying yeah, to get yeah. get where. What what's the? You know. Do um, we excuse me? We still have an exception in there. If you have a home under construction, that you can stay up to two years, one year at a time, renewable to two years. Okay, correct. so that covers the other issue as yeah, far yeah. as I'm concerned. Yeah. Okay. And one of these RVs I went to one site once. They well, pulled the, by they my pulled shadows. The, they pulled the T handle. Right. On the property, right? That was no, I, I'm, I'm, I have no issue with that. 
Well, that's the reason it was written that way. To but as long as you can do it under construction yeah. for a year or two, that's the reason. All right. I, I, I don't remember. Did we vote? Mm -hmm. We did. Okay. You voted. Yes, yes, you did. Okay. Okay. Outstanding. <laughs> so, amend section, so we can move on to the next item. Amend section 17.8.5 as follows. Uh, lifetimes. If after a permit has been authorized by a board, such permit is not lifted from the Office of the Codes Enforcement Officer within a period of strike six months, two years from the date of authorization, then such authorization shall be null and void. Strike and no permit shall be issued thereunder and put in unless further extended by local ordinance or by the Zoning Board of Adjustment for good cause. And I, I think this was something you were running into, so I'll let you explain what the... Well, it used to be six months. Well, it used to be six months. So if someone came in in November, October, got a variance to do this, now it freezes up. Now they come back in May, six months has gone by if you get a variance. And it used to be that way at the state too, and the state had changed to two years, so that's why this was there. That's as I understood. So, so this is just a, an yes. adjustment to bring us in line with what the state could Correct. It synchronizes the change to state law. So that the zoning board can follow the same rules that the state has passed. Same so now an applicant will have two years from the date of, instead of six months. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's it's not open ended, it's not twenty years no. or ten years, no. but no, it's I, a it's a, a period of time that And that's just to do what they go to variance for. That correct. doesn't extend then well it's a variance, it doesn't really say it's a variance, but um, like a special exception for a property or something that you get that doesn't extend that once that use is not done for a year that goes away mm -hmm. it just doesn't change that this is just for something that they get from the cba for a variance i don't know if that should be in there or not so yeah, yeah. the variance last the variance will last up to two years correct yes. whereas if but a special exception you get let's just say you get a variance or something for a business and you need a variance to get it and you do that right away and then you stop doing that. This doesn't extend that for two years. We still have another rule that if that business is no longer operating for a period of one year, it goes back to the original use of the property. It goes back to residential or whatever the property was used for. Or well, zone that's in there. Or the, so whatever the zone, zone is, is in, for. you mean? Correct. Yes. Is this strictly for uh, a variance? I didn't write it. So. Yeah, but on the it life, is. well, I mean, is, does it, is the intent of this just to be for the ZBA permit? I would think so, yes. 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 Well, I, then I would change it as after a permit has been granted, not authorized because they're granted right. by the ZBA. You got the word authorized in here, not the same thing. Yeah. If after a permit has been granted by the ZBA and such permit has not been lifted from, right. not been whatever you do with it, mm -hmm. uh, but I would change it as put the ZBA in there and say granted. But a special exception goes with the property. Not forever. What's the limit on that? If it's not done within a year, it goes away. It's in our zoning, that's been there for years since I started. Special exception? Is there anything, any use that's non-conforming to the law, a special exception is not conforming. You have to get a special exception to do it. If that's not run for a year, it goes back to the original. Yeah, if it's closed down for more than a year. Yeah. So I mean, my only suggestion to clarify that is you're actually talking about the ZBA because it says like right. it's, it's written funny. Yeah. Or it's not. Uh, it does say ZBA at the end of it, but not at the beginning. I think it's just put by the Board of Adjustment. That'll fix it. It says by the Board. Mm -hmm. you just put by the Board of Adjustment. Well, well I wouldn't grant. say authorized, I would say granted. Change the word authorized, granted, granted by, by the Board of Adjustment. Uh, 
Um, I just want to make it clear that I actually double checked prior to um, noticing this. Uh, I double checked the actual state language, and the state language says authorized. It does, it's yeah. authorized, yeah. So I it don't be know by if the you want to change, I mean, like Mark, am I correct? Yes. Uh, this is verbatim from the state's then let's language. Then by all means, yes. yes, please. Yep. By the board, that's it, it doesn't say board of adjustment. Well, hold on a hold second. On. I did not check the state RSA, I yeah. apologize for that. So thank you, Leanne, for being um, diligent enough to do that. Well, and I want to just, if you can give me one second, everybody. Sure. So in the zoning, with service, in, zoning, in yeah. our zoning ordinance, 17, section 17 is, is section CD? 17 board of adjustment. Okay, that's fine. So you're only speaking to about the board of adjustment. So you right. don't need specify ZBA because that it's is the entire result. section mm -hmm. yep. and it starts out with 17.1 is the Board of Adjustment shall have the powers and duties specifically granted to it under RSA 674.33 and then we go through membership yeah, yeah. rules which is 17.2, 17.3, 17.4 and this is 17.85 so so authorized was the term used on the states yeah, I'm actually going to pull it. Let's leave it just like that. Well, and it's in our regs. Is it the all of this wording is in our regs now, except for the red. That's correct. So it's all it's all part of what's in here. Right. It, 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 if it's under the ZBA section, right. that makes more sense. Right. Okay. So it, it, it looked like that was under definitions, just the way it's saying right. it all. Yep. And under definitions, that doesn't make I, sense. I think the ZBA. more we can have this match the state regulations. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, Right. Yeah. So all we're looking to do is change is change six months to two years in our ordinance yeah. and to change the wording at the end of the last sentence. Correct. Mm -hmm. So we're okay. trying to deregulate it. Imagine that, Steve. And that is coincides with the states. Yeah, yes, I'm does. reading the state right now just so I mean I did this before just because I wanted to make sure the proposed language from the ZBA was mirroring the state, and I did confirm it, but I just want to, yeah, no, just I for the sake of being on the public record, there. I gotta find it though, that's the thing. It's wordy. When I went through it, I just saw that it was being pushed from six months to two years. Yeah. Because we're, we're already in sync with what the state Yeah. But I did not know enough to catch authorized. Simplifies it, clarifies it, whatever. Yes. Good job on the deregulation. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm in RSA 674.33, and I'm finding there's, it speaks in a couple areas, like Actually, section so it's RSA six seventy four thirty three I A actually I A and then B and it states the notice the notice shall state that variances oh you don't even have a date in here. Be valid date of notice or is further extended by the zoning board of that's the local ordinance or the zoning board of adjustment for a good cause. Mm -hmm. So that's the section. I don't have any problem with the okay. mm -hmm. 
and all we're basically doing is changing that from six months to two years. Right. So, anybody else? Anything to add? Nobody? I get a motion. Wait, first you're going to um, close the public hearing. Sorry. I'm going to close the public hearing. And then, second, you need to have a, make a motion to move to the honor the 2018. But the other one has to be extended. Just this one. Right. You didn't close the public hearing on the other one. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to move it to a date, sir. Okay. So before we do this, I'm just going to let you know I pulled up the meeting calendar law, and we have to have hold the public hearing prior to no later than um, February 4th, and our next meeting is the 7th. So two weeks from now is January 31st. So I would recommend either canceling the seventh meeting, but we need to have it before the fourth. So why don't we, why don't we cancel the meeting on the seventh and have it on the fourth first? That's what I would recommend. Anybody have an issue? No. No. All right. Okay. So. So the date certain would be January thirty first. I have a motion. Mm -hmm. I have a motion to. Post that tomorrow. Yep. I have a motion to move the public hearing on 10.4.1, uh, the changes to limitations to a date certain of January 31st. I will move that. Okay, the second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 And then we are going to close the public hearing. For limited lifetimes. We You're not closing it for the other one. So we are going to close the public hearing. <laughs> for the lifetimes, 7.8.5. Mm -hmm. 10.4.1 limitations is still open and continued to and the February 7th meeting is canceled. Mm -hmm. So to speak. So did we get that all down so we're very exact so we make sure we're all legal and Yes, the only thing I need is a motion to move the 17.8.5 to town one. Can I have a motion <laughs> to move 17.8.5 to town warrant to have some move? Second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you for catching that. You were very correct. All right, so the next thing on the agenda is Fenton Barney. Uh, so Fenton is here for a preliminary for a sample. I do not know whether we need to read on the preliminary uh, the addresses and such and so forth, but this is at Mountain Shadow, which is on New Road. Um, it is an existing sand pit, and this is one of the things we've been dealing with under 155E. Uh, so, Fenton, there you go. So, what we have, I should have, and I apologize for not hi highlighting this. Okay. This is uh, our lot, it's 24, what is it, 3124, okay? It's a 26 acre piece. And unfortunately, just for you guys, it's here all the way down the road to Rosa Butters, way down there and come back, yeah, take a left, yeah, you're right to you're right there and back up the property line. That's the entire piece. The excavation area is this little dot up here, okay? That's it, so this is about a third of an acre. Um, the hashed part, which I'll change the hash, and where those lines are close together, that's the entire pit. It's about 80 feet by 120 feet. You mean it? Google Earth pictures of it or anything? The, you know, that's, this is from Google Earth, but I can bring you some Google Earth. Just some satellite pictures yep. so you can see the trees and all that. So. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, this, this was actually, Peter Cooper Doc did this. Yeah. From Google Earth. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we can, uh, I can bring you Google Earth. Yeah. So, so that's it. The, the balance of this, I mean, the reason we did this is the, that's the entire lot. So it's, in, but the, the it's total excavation area would never be more than, you know, maybe another half an acre, or, yeah. you know. Well, it can be whatever's been grubbed. Right, which is. For years. 
rubbed, you know, down over the tree line. 2014, 15 ish, whatever's been growing yeah, at that point. That, right, which was more than what's grown in at the moment. So, what we what we did with Steve Fenton and what we're going to do on all of these yeah. is that we go around like one of the conditions of approval on Steve's, and I think the board kind of felt they do this for everyone as they come forward, is that when you bring it in and you outline your area, which was grubbed out. Oh, you, so you want to put more on there? Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we walk it. We walk it. Okay. And flag and, it. And we blaze and We did this one it. today. That's where all the blazes are on all these. Okay. And then we drive, and what, like on skis, we weren't able to because the ground was obviously frozen. We're just going to put a few uh, pieces of rebar in a couple of elevations. <coughs> and I think the other condition on Steve's. You need there. a prep test to prove where the water table is somewhere in the vicinity of the pit. But at the bottom of it or at the top of it? You gotta, you gotta state where the seasonal high water table is. If you can find it. If you can find well, it over there. Yeah, I'm just... No, no, well, I mean, up high, you know, it's not about 30 feet. So right, right, right. I mean, that's all it has, that's part yeah. of the condition. Well, I mean, it, so obviously we're out the springtime at this point. Correct. Okay. So, okay. On that condition. On okay. that condition, yeah, it's, so, but, yeah, yeah. So basically, take take some you know Google Earth 2014 yeah. around there. Show what's roughly was grubbed out. Good. Yeah. You're ready to go. Doesn't need to be exact. You know, grubbed out. You'll come in. It's pretty straightforward. You know, you know, you just want to make sure you know, the water's not you know it's self draining. And then we get conditions of approval. One of them, where Jack and I will go out. Well, you, you, you want to wait till springtime on that right now, in particular if you're going to get two feet of snow. I mean, I'll do it whenever. I yeah, we have to do it after it's a yeah, you want to anyway, so. see anything. See, I submitted this with my application. Yeah, no, I've got the same. If, if, if it's under, remember. Yeah, if it's remember under two feet tall and we have two no. feet of snow, it's grubbed out. Right. Oh well, yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm lucky if yeah. I can remember back to last week. Yeah. So, so just like, so, so up beyond the grubbed out area. Um, if you want to expand in the future, what's what's the plan? That's the full boat, That's AOT, the, everything. Yeah, but, but it's AOT is at a hundred thousand square feet. Yeah, right. But You'd never meet that. No, right. I mean I'd be. That's never going to happen. Right. So but no, that's a full blown. Just an application, to you guys. Because no. there's no state special reception. Your hundred thousand yards a year. Oh, there it is. is that special special, special, special exception. exception. Special exception. When you get beyond the area that's grubbed out. That's what's grandfather is what's grubbed out. That's all we're grandfathering is what was open back in 2014-ish area. Is that on Google Earth today? Is they have 14? Oh, you're going back to... Well, I know you can't go back to that. That's not the yeah. point. Well, yeah. yeah, 14, they got a couple... You can, get, you can get about a photo a year, roughly. Yeah. 14, 15. Yeah, yeah, I think... Yeah, I'll see what they want. I mean, they have June second of this year is when that was the most current one. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, we're gonna I mean, we'll go, and you can go down. Well, I, well, you can't. No, you can't go down. Down to be down's gravel. I mean, down's clay layer. Oh. Well, yeah. This is this this is really not a hole in the ground. This actually goes up. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, you grew into it. Correct. Yeah, just it's all we're doing is taking the sand down around the outside. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So sure. that's what's grandfathered is what was open. In so what was that material you wrote? Yeah, so and then like slope wise, well, like, I mean unless you want to get an engineer to sign off on like a one to one slope, yeah. you know, then go two to one. Two to one. For what? For for your finished your, slopes, right? Yeah, most of the most slope. of it's already reclaimed itself with birch trees and pine trees and right, 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 I mean, yeah. you'll see it when you get out there. The little stuff's kinda it, it, that's a kind of funny when you say you know, what was rubbed out three or four years ago because I mean there's saplings growing up. Oh no, we we take that into consideration. I mean if there's an eighteen inch tree there it wasn't No 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 yeah. Yeah, right okay. I mean, yeah no this is not all right well we'll you, work. you can ask Steve you know, we did it today and we were Yeah today you can do it. My only thought is if you're gonna get two feet of snow on Sunday. I'm good on like April or May if you guys are Oh that's not you haven't got an application anyway so. well I did actually I just handed it to her. Okay. Yeah no I did we haven't a meeting yet so it's yeah, yeah I mean, you just move. Well, I mean, that's a. You, no my point is, we, yeah, at least we're getting on board. The storm exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so, so if you came to this planning board with the application next month, 
just moved just move the hair. Well. Yeah. Huh? He just moved the hair right now. <laughs> you know no, 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 no. A regular meeting in four weeks, okay, yeah. Yeah. would be, I think, if you were ready, for when you could this bring the application in here. Twenty. But it's, yeah, well, but it's after no. that that you, the, 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 the you probably have this application ready to present now. Yeah. Well, I do the yeah the oh, old, right. yeah all I have to do to I mean I'll get Google yeah. Earth, which is I have the overlay actually sitting on a computer, uh, which is how this is how we did this Just originally. I can put the uh, the line that's outlined around it. That's yep. easy. Yeah, the yeah. only other thing I picked up that's missing on here is sideline setbacks up to be twenty five feet, right. twenty or twenty or twenty five. So what we did on all it states is fifty feet from a non right, non commercial. No. Uh, uh, disapproving a butter. Disapproving a butter. Right. And we're just assuming everybody's disapproving, so we're just going fifty. Well, yeah, yeah this, this is a hundred. Well, well you're fifty. Yeah, you're just, we're nowhere near fifty. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's easy. It's not meant to be a big deal. Well, no, and that was that. I understood that. That's why I, I filled it out for her. She's got the abundant listed. But you might as well sit on that, Leanne, temporarily. Let's get the plan updated now that I know what you guys want. We have plenty of time, Ben. We've got February 21st, and we can even go, I believe, yes. to March 7th. Right. 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 Make sure you put, like, I'm sure you store stumps in here. No, not much. Is not that sure that you store stumps in there. So I can, okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. So anything that activity that you have that's, you know, a like typical... Lot, yeah. you know. Right, sand and gravel. Right. Sand, gravel, stumps, right. you know, maybe you must have ground some stumps up or something. You know, you want to make sure that you put that down. Well, uh, but I mean, it, it, yeah, okay, put it down as, as... As one of the things you do with your pit. Yep. Stone, you must take your excess stone and put it in there. Right. So where do you, what do you want? Do you want it listed out separately on the plan? Or do you just want to put it in that little hole right there? I, I don't care. Maybe you'd like you to it, be a consultant to... It should certainly... What did you do? You should certainly have on the public record that you... What kind of show? All these activities. things. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'm going to put my glasses on. Yeah, but see, one of my piles is this big. That's... That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. It's all right. It, see, so this is, is my... Use is, this is, is my use stumps. Uh, compost piles. Yep. This is where my boulders are. Okay, yep. so what we'll do is I'll do a blow up. I might shrink this in half, do a blow up of that. We don't need all of this. We just yeah. need, you know. Yeah, we need a locust plant, but uh, yeah, I'll cut this scale in half and we'll just do a blow up of that and put yeah. what you did. That's a whole thing. those areas. I get it. That's why I'm asking. That's why we're here. Right. Perfect. Thank you so much. We have a plan. Oh. I did my locus, my locus map was yep. separate. Okay. Yeah, that's from yeah, everything else. We'll shrink it down. You good? Yeah, I'm good on that one, thank you. All right. Uh, I'm just, side question. How many of these are there? Like 14 or 15? No. no. Seven? Six? Seven. Yeah, half a dozen. Yeah. Steve is the, Steve is the first one to yeah. do it. You would be number two. Okay. If you run into anybody else, please encourage so, them to do it. Yeah, it's but uh, Dolly's got a pit. Uh, yeah, the ones that should come in are in you, pit. Steve. Mike Carlton plants. Mike in the Carlton, Mel Bean, Dolly. He's doing the uh, Fred. Yes. Yeah. He's having it surveyed. He's got to go to the ZBA first. Yeah. So he doesn't have to meet Honestly. the deadline. Oh, so then he doesn't have to meet, right? No. So he's fine. But he, he, that's. For what he has there, that's smart because right, no other use for that. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah. So yeah. If you're so right. so just to back up again, in the event that we want to extend this, when we did the permit to Stockman two or three years ago, AOT is not going to come in. Cause, so if you're going to add a half an acre to see, again, it's no, then you don't. We're getting down into the to the minuscule levels. That's. It's just not, there's no state permits involved because it's less than an acre. You're, you're going to you're gonna get a, just like Steve did. You're going to go get a special exception. No, you're going to get a condition that is set states that, you know, this, what we're doing is grandfathering under 155E. It doesn't exempt because we're going to make sure the town's ass is, you know, what's covered. 
is yeah. to say this does not exempt you from the state regulation, no, environmental right. regulation, yeah, yeah. this or that or whatever. Well, but but my, I guess my point is the only thing you're hitting at, at the state level would be AOT. Right. And when they did Stockman's Pit, maybe it was based on the state, but they did it <coughs> five acres at a time. Right, but they did the whole thing. They right. phased it, but they did an AOT for the whole thing. Right. It's, so they don't have to come back and do that later. Right, but, but my, my point is the whole pile of sand that I'm talking about never hits 100,000 square right, feet. Right. So the AOT. So you're exempt from the AOT, though. but you still need all the other. Right, but, the, but, but, so, but I'm just, yeah, so if we came in here to you guys, <coughs> we, since it's already been basically surveyed. It, it would be pretty straight. You, you, well, you have to, if you're going to expand it, are you going to the ZBA? I mean, I'm asking you. have to go to the ZBA for expanding it. You're going special for like a new exception. kit, special exception. Yeah. Is, that what we, is that what they did with, with uh, Stockman's yes. pit? It was the ZBA it's a special first? Exception. Under special exception, yeah. it's not as a bear. Because the gravel pit's allowed in certain zones <coughs> based on special exception. <coughs> so, this is grandfathering what's in yeah, operation is. right now. Okay. Or back and forth. No, that, that's, I'm just. Trying to get in my head what's where the this you know again for a hundred yards a year to take out much sand is you don't get too far out of yard right. Well, your grandfather thinks that you're using that. Well, right, exactly, and and then literally since we started this 14 years ago, 90 percent of it, minus an area less than this room, has already pretty much recovered itself. Right. <laughs> you stand back, it grows trees real quick. Yeah. You know? So we'll reclaim ourselves. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it's pretty interesting actually. Okay, I'm good. Anybody else? That was that, Pete. You got nothing? On what? On yours? <laughs> oh, I got a lot of things, but I'm Steve, uh, we're Steve, on yours right Steve now. Steve doesn't no. think we should have to do any of it. No. <coughs> oh, all right. Um, I think that's it for sand pits right now. Uh, I think we're on to discussion items. Uh, so we have two planning board membership and 2018 annual report. Uh, planning board membership is a continuing conversation because, as we know, shortly here the ice is going to go out of Lake Wamasaki, and I'm not going to do this anymore. So, yes. uh, I have someone to put before the board who says it's okay if I quote his name here. I think you may know him, Gary Qua. QUA? Sure. My neighbor. Yeah. Yes. I like Gary. Uh, anyway, he, uh, he told me to go ahead and, you know, say something, but he would like, if you permit, that he would call you and, you know, discuss some stuff. Is Absolutely. that okay? Yeah, he's got my number, right? Yeah. Actually, he doesn't. He asked me if I could get it. Oh, from sure. You, if that's okay. Um, so. Yeah. Uh, so, Gary has been a realtor um, for quite a while. Been in town for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's just the kind of person we're looking for. Mm -hmm. So I, okay. I think that's a great idea. Where did they, did they start down in Winter Harbor? I believe so. Yeah. I mean, uh, that road, Butterball uh, Burbank. Winter Harbor Way, isn't that where they? I think so, yeah. Family the cause and the dates or something. Then it was Anderson's down at Beagle there or something. Yeah, whatever. But. Well, I mean, to bring it up, I mean, as I've said from the beginning, I'm not going to have time to be the chairman here very quickly. <coughs> it is uh, just more time than I have. It takes more time than I have. Um, there's very this is a relatively young board and the fact that many of the people on board don't have a tremendous amount of experience with land use and there's very few people in town who can do that. Fenton is certainly one of them who has expressed interest in doing it in the past. So again, I would ask the selectman to reach out to Fenton or talk to Fenton or, or whatnot and see what can be worked out. Yeah, what do you want to do that? So who's, who's here now? Is, I mean, I assume Tony's on Tony. vacation? Yeah, yeah Tony's vice chairman. And John is? Uh, he, John is a member. A member. Yeah. Who's the other? Russ Steens was an alternate. And Laureen. And Laureen's a member. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would be glad to stay on as a member. Um, but as I've said from the beginning, I, there's 
there's no way. Mm -hmm. I mean, and not, not only that, but. <laughs> Not only that, but I know Leanne has mentioned this on multiple occasions, and we all cover our ears because we don't want to hear it. But you know, when the master plan is done, Leanne is not going to do this anymore. Um, which, again, it's it, you cannot just whistle up a planning board secretary because there's not many people who know land use mm -hmm. and things like that. And as we know, the technicalities of making sure things are posted correctly and things like that are difficult. So. We need experience. Um, well, I just have a question along the same lines. Leanne, do you know if, if I mean, if when you are do planning to leave, do you know anybody else with the experience that would possibly want to come on and replace you here? Uh, well, I'm not, and I don't mean to put you know. on the spot. I'll, I'll throw you out the door. No, I'm honestly. To, well, my point is, just from a continuity standpoint, if you do know somebody or possibly somebody would be interested, if they came on for six months and shadowed you, it would be a huge help for getting yeah. this cold. I mean, I probably know one person, but she has a full-time job and she does VBA. Yeah, I mean, it's somebody that would be interested in, yeah. So I just don't know, I, I'm not from Tuckenboro, yeah, right. so I don't know people in the, not that you have to have someone, I'm, I'm from Wolfboro. Um, I don't care, you could. I don't. Well, I, my, my point is, sooner rather than later than somebody coming into a cold that's never done it before, if you could find somebody that shadowed, I mean, in um, the, in the, it's it's really a board problem, not your problem. But correct. my point is, well, it would I, be a really good consideration just because of your knowledge and what's going on here. Well, I guess what I would suggest is the way that I was acquired by the <coughs> board was the chairman reached out to actually um, Rob Houseman, who's the former town planner in Wolfbrow and asked if he knew anybody. So maybe if we reached out to other planning departments. Why don't we reach out to that Mol have admins. Molten Borough? Is theirs part time? I don't know. They Is have a full time, so they have Molten Borough. They have a planner, board. right. Yeah. Well, no, they have a planner. They also have a full time planning board secretary, which is Bonnie. Right. Mm -hmm. Very. And then they probably have a recording secretary for the planning board. I do not know if they have that. I have not met her if they do. but. Yeah. And then in Ossipi, you have, I believe, a planning board secretary as well. Those would be the two places I would talk to, and perhaps Wolfboro. Well, yeah, I just gave up Wolfboro and Kathy. Kathy might be, but she's only done it for eight months. Yep. She has no previous experience. She has no knowledge of the RSAs. I mean, she's great as far as doing minutes. I mean, it depends on what you want and what you can get, so. I think that if you don't have somebody who's very knowledgeable about the, you know, the RSAs as far as right to know and notifications and things like that, whatever you save by hiring someone who doesn't know very much, you're going to spend in legal fees straightening out whatever is messed up. Yeah, those other towns have planners, so mm -hmm. it's a yeah, big difference. Yeah, I, I mean, in all honesty, I, I don't see tough to at a planner level, considering no. most of the time nothing's going on here. And um, no, I mean, the agenda's been super quiet, obviously, yeah. other than, you know, cleaning up stuff. But you have to have... You should but have the, sec the, the secretary's an important, very important part yeah. of this, um, from all my 30 years of experience on and off. Yeah. I mean, the other option, like, I have a friend who's the... Actually, it's my wife's friend, but... Use the planning board secretary for uh, uh, Summersworth, and you know sometimes they take a second, actually, the end, you know, take a second town, especially a small town. That's right, really right. Pretty mm -hmm. easy, you know. But well, that's why I'm saying if someone's doing Moulton Borough, it's they may time. want. Yeah, yeah. yeah and works. that's what would happen with me. Um, right. you know, yeah. I was doing Wolf Borough, but I had the time to do Talk to Borough too. But well, Bonnie, I know Bonnie works a second job. She may be interested, you know. I like Bonnie. And she's more than capable. Yeah, I deal with Bonnie on a regular yeah, basis. She, she is. But that might be worth a reach out. 28 on. years of experience. Oh, yeah, no, huge. Yeah, she, she's, she's good to work with. She's, she's it's worth the question. My, that's the only reason I bring it up, instead of hitting a cold turkey someday. I have to go to Boulder Town Hall anyway. I'll ask Bonnie. Okay, great. Well, or if nothing else, she knows most of the people. Yes. Yeah, and anything else. 
You know, you know who else you might flowers. talk to is, um, speaking of land use, is uh, the, the, the master plan people who are blanking out on over there. Lake Trees. Lake Trees. Yeah. Lake Trees are planning. Yeah. Yeah. They may have a person or a list of people. You know who else might be interested? Yeah. Just a couple, of, you know, a few of the law firms in the area who deal with land use. <coughs> a lot of times they'll have either an office manager, a paralegal, or something. Yeah, that's not an issue. We don't see that many lawyers in the office. Yeah, anybody that's been in a real estate office would have a pretty good handle on a lot of it. Other than it, the specialty that Leanne has is the timing and yeah, the, notices and all the rest of it. I mean, that's that's the biggest part of keeping this out of trouble. Well, yeah. it's teachable though. Yeah, yeah. And you're just going to be familiar with um, the RSAs and move around. Like, I just, you know, with the lifetimes thing, I just pulled it up. I knew where to go. Mm -hmm. It's just going to get comfortable and you're going to educate mm -hmm. yourself. Yeah. It can be learned, that's for sure. Steve, you interested in a part time job? Nope. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I got one now. I'll take it now. Uh, time, you're doing good. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, annual report. Okay, so I prepared it. I'd like you guys to read it. Oh, that looks it. good. That looks good. See if I need yeah. to add more. I don't know what else to add, but try to be thorough about what we did last year. The master plan stuff was basically mirrored from the year before because we haven't really made a lot of strides in that area. Have you heard from her at all? No, so that's on my to-do list. Okay. Because we need to start scheduling. I've been paying them to be slow so that you can't leave. You know what? Why you're leaving? Council. You're leaving? Yep. Did you? Uh, who's that name you got? I don't. It's, he's at Upton and uh, whatever up in North Carolina. Because Rogers. Roger. <laughs> Interesting conversation. Yes. Um, I had with Roger when we were talking about something else, and Roger indicated that he's uh, <laughs> he may not be retiring. That uh, he's down to the point that he likes the workload he has and the clients he has, and uh, so I said, "Oh, so I was under the impression he was retiring effective January one." Um, doesn't mean that we can't seek. Right. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to talk to the, the gentleman at Upton and um, what it was. Have to and yeah. just for some background on how we found that name, Jack and I were talking to uh, one of the engineers on some projects uh, for the town box and stuff like that. And uh, he deals with a lot of the, um, a lot of sticky waterfront projects and DES projects and stuff like that. And we just said, hey, who do you who do you use in land use that's good? And he just like was like, this is the guy. He's he's I great. Know. He's reasonably affordable. I don't know. And he only deals he does land use and he only deals with municipal. Yeah. 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 So and I think it makes sense at least to reach out and have a conversation. Yeah. So it, I mean, like we've talked about a lot of times in law firms, it's, it's, it's in my experience, has been it's, it's usually best to deal with a lawyer who specializes in whatever the field is that you're in. And if it's right. land use and a land use attorney, you know, they're not doing a will one day and a law firm right. the next. You know, it's what they do. They don't look things up. They just know what they are because they do it every single day. Especially with the guy who deals with the primary <coughs> side because he's, he knows what he the liability of not posting to be the problem. Well, the benefit to somebody that practices in a specific area of the law, the law is not only are they familiar with the written law, but they're also familiar with the case law. Yeah. And and so that all of this stuff just percolates up there as they deal with the stuff yeah. that comes across the desk and, and uh, yeah. you get so why don't we better direction. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give him a call and see if he's wants to chat. Yeah. Whether that's a phone call or he wants to come down here, you know, just say Tyler from Horizons. Right and then see how that goes. Anybody? Any input? Oh, no input. Yeah. Done. 
I'm going to take it. Um, planning board schedule. Just FYI, I just prepared the schedule, even though we just changed it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what people are used to, so I'm going to leave it. I'm gonna leave right, it. Right. And I already posted the cancellation notice on the website. So, we're good. Okay. Uh, last public comment? I do have other business. All right, before we get public comment, what do we have for other business? We just have that we received, um, I believe Matt and I received an email a couple hours ago from Roger Murray stating that he reviewed the final changes to the covenants bylaws restrictions for Shawview no Clark House I'm Clark, sorry Clark. Clark House and um, Clark House Trust and so now we're ready to finalize that yep so and for some more background on that just in case you may run into this apparently there was changes to the condominium regulations at a certain point and because attorney um, Walker called and apologized it was taking so long but basically his boilerplate for condominium regular you know was old vision he was old he had to redraw yeah. his entire thing so that was the hold up so also something for us to be aware of that the regulations changed about two years ago so um, another thing just for the board to know we did jack and i and steve did walk his which i think came up uh his uh, pit and blaze and flagged the edge of the grubbed out area it was easy nice and brisk yeah it was a great yeah. walk this morning i kind of drew it as best we could so yep um so the last two items for that are the, the perk and the uh, we just have to drive some rods in the ground for some elevations and that was it. it used to be about 40 50 degrees warmer yeah yeah and a little less frozen yeah yeah yep. So that's what has to be done before I get my signature. It was a condition of approval, so yes. Um, you planning on digging any dirt anytime? Uh, no, I, no. I'm just, I'm just curious. What my thought process on that is, I'd like to have my approval or my signature, or what I've got the approval. I'd like to get my signature so that when I do my intent to excavate this year, I have a number. When are you going to do that intent? Well, it's the 1st of April is when they do that. There should be on a flag that you can get a pole dug by then. Yep. Yeah, I just do the permit but, and get the but, number but right, so. Let's slow down a minute here. Okay. The conditions of my approval, it was a it was moved to approve it, the site plan review, and the conditions don't have a perk test. Right, and I found those in the rules after the fact. Right, but you can't, these were the conditions that were stated here that you approved tonight. You can't add that. I'd be more than happy to do that. Steve, but I that shouldn't hold me up from getting my signature. But I, I, I agree. But I'd be more than happy to dig a test. You're, if you're willing to, could you? Right, I just don't know if that's going to happen. We're, we're not going to try to first hold you. Yeah, we're not going to try to hold you. You got an open pit wall? Oh yeah, I got some. I got some open banks. But there's no there's just to go up the top of that, dig a foot away. I mean, you know, seriously, I'm not being funny. There's, if, if there's no water there, right here, if go a foot away. There's no water. Well, there. I, I think you know, there. You're only allowed to excavate down to I think it's five feet of the water table or something like that. So I think that's what they're trying to. It's in his. In, it's in your interest. No, no. Yeah, it's no. Right. I'm not against that. I'm just saying that. That isn't one same, of my same that was, was, that was something thing. that we didn't yeah. catch at the time we did it. So right. yes. It's, it's the same right. thing with the stump disposal. It's something you know, there's a height above water table. So Yeah, right. No. The deeper he can go and where there's no water, the better off you are. It's the elevation of the highest annual average groundwater table within or next to the proposed excavations. But you are right. That but was I'll not look, a condition right, of approval. Right. So, so I, I'm just going to go in my low spot there and dig a, <laughs> well, uh, dig a hole. And but but reading that in reality is because you're better off to dig that at the at the bottom of sure. the excavation. Yeah, exactly. Because you not want, the top because you want to get down to where the real you want that you want to know where the water deep is as possible. Right. Yes, right. Well, yeah. It depends if you're trying to just grade or excavate. Doesn't do. But anyway, yeah, I get to 
on the deeper the water. He has one low down. spot where he's pretty much done now. Just gonna dig it there and he just move on for the rest of it. So, right. right. Cause see, one thing, you, you, when, if you dig on an excavated area, you don't have, you're not gonna read roots, you're not gonna read a normal test kit for an undisturbed area. It's a disturbed, so really what you're gonna do is dig to actually hit water. Correct. It's right. a little bit different, but yeah, that's fine. Well, the only thing we're looking for is seasonal high water table. Right. Right. So but the only way you're going to find it in, in a sand pit is dig till we're at a little water. You know, exactly. You, exactly. you don't have a seasonal, you don't have an undisturbed seasonal high water yeah. table because it's disturbed. It's a different but anyway, yeah. Might not even be any frost in now. I don't know. A couple of snow. Yeah. It's hard to say. But I need a soil scientist to do that for me. Yeah, it just says it says yeah to the elevation of ice annual ground water table, so they can read I don't think they can read modeling in sand anyway, so you, that's, there is a yeah, that's my right, point. Yeah. It's excavated it's, it, yeah, it's gotta be understood. That's my point. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't have roots. If you right. dug up fifteen feet, Correct. there's nothing growing. Right. You don't have trees. But if I dug ten feet below the bottom of my the yeah, low yeah, part. Yeah. Low part. Right, and just let it open up and see if and water shows water. up. Right. Or I would, I would say, that's my point. You can dig ten feet and it's dry. And there's no water, and the regulation says you got to be five feet above the water table. You can take five more feet out of the pit. Good. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So if you can dig thirty feet, if there's no water, then you can go down twenty-five feet. Right. That's the point. And my bags will go. Right. Right. You have to one. Yeah. But thank you for being willing to do that. Yeah, no, I'm, I, I mean, it's, it's best interest for me to do it, have it documented yeah. anyhow. But I mean, it's, we're not, we're not going to try to hold the office. Is that the state reg or is that in what we It's doing? in 155E. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, as soon as, yeah. you know, I'll, we'll sign it. Yeah. Hopefully not the end. So we'll somebody <laughs> else. You didn't read the Hotel California clause in your contract? Yes. We have the legal opinion from uh, Roger, and I would like a motion to release it and so that to the public so saying that everything's great on the condo subdivision so that we can uh, release it and put it in the file. Okay. So, so do we get to look at it before sure. we release it? You know what? I don't think I will email well. it um, because it's in my email. I don't have it printed no. out. I'll, I'll tell you what. In the interest in getting this done, I will read it to everyone. You read it and I'm going to forward it right yeah. now. Dear Matt, I have reviewed the declaration, bylaws, and articles of the agreement. Schedule percentage of undivided interest and proposed warranty deed for the above captioned condominium. The above captioned, by the way, is the Park House condominium the title line. I find them in order and hereby approve these documents. If you have any questions, please let me know. Should I ask? Straightforward. <coughs> yep. Okay. So, uh, Alan Road. I move that we open this. Sorry, Clark. Yeah, release the release. release the opinion. Two. 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 All those in favor? Aye. 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 Now we're done. 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 I will second that. Alright, alright, great. Alright, oops. Okay.